Hi, Connor. Um, first of all, can, can you just give us your take on the scenes last night and you know just your feelings around it? I mean, it's pretty shocking what, what, what happened. Yeah, um, anger. <clears throat> anger more than anything. Um, just disappointed and it seems that you should never see on a football pitch, but proud of the way the whole team and the way the whole club handled the situation um, from top to bottom. I think we handled it really strongly and back Glenn to the hilt and I always will because I have such a strong relationship with him. You've got such a tight bond as a squad. We've seen that throughout the season. Was that demonstrated last night with the way that everyone sort of, you know, reacted to what was allegedly said? Listen, it wasn't allegedly said, it was said and um yeah, possibly. Um it shows obviously togetherness and the tight knit in the group, but it shouldn't need something like that to show a tight knit in a football group. Um disgusted what happened. I know it was said hundred percent, I didn't hear it myself, but I know how Glenn is, I know the individual is I think in two and a half years you've he's been here, I don't think you'd ever see him be angry or be emotional in any kind of way. So for him to get like that, um, I know that something was said and I believe him 100%. Oh no, do you feel a, a big part of trying to eradicate this from, you know, not just football, but society as well, is, is people taking responsibility for what they've done? Yeah, it is, but it never will get eradicated because there's so many token gestures out there. And I'll be honest, taking a knee, token gesture um, from the higher authorities, take a knee to make it look all like they're doing something to help, but they're not doing anything because when these things happen, there's no there's no consequence. There might be a fine, but it's never enough. Like what? Uh, you get fined more for showing an advertisement on a pair of underwear than you do for being racist or having a group of support or a player being racist towards someone and it'll never change. David Edgar, is that, sorry, Andy, go ahead. Oh, sorry, Colin, I was, I was just going to say, is, is that the way forward for you? Do you hope to see you know harsher punishments when it comes to incidents like this? I just wish that it just wouldn't happen. Um, we're in an age now where I feel a lot to move forward, but at the same time, when it comes to social media, etc., so much has moved backwards. Um, you have the incident on the pitch where you're already angry, you come into the change room, boys look at the phone and you see in all sorts of emojis of racism from sections of their fans and it's just hard to take. Um, I don't think you'll ever understand how hard it is to take for, for us where you work so hard to get in a position where you become a footballer and become a professional footballer. It's hard enough as it is and then you do make it and you still have to carry on with the abuse that comes with you. With the game coming up on, on Sunday, uh, is it is something now that, that you guys can, can focus on as a team, as champions going into such a big fixture and you're leading out the team there as captain? Yeah, of course we will. I think if you wanted one game after last night, it would it would be an old firm. Um, you don't need to talk, you don't need to get anyone up for it. The game speaks for itself and um, we'll recover today and prepare tomorrow for a massive game for ourselves and our supporters. Um, yeah, it'll be an honour to lead the team out there and be captain, but at the same time, I, I still wish that Tav was playing, so... Yeah, it's an honour, but at the same time, I wish my captain was there. Morning, Connor. Um, that's you know, that's stretching back to last season. That's the last three old firm fixtures that, that you've won. Is there a real sort of swagger going into these fixtures, just given your recent history in them? No, not at all. Um, an old firm's an old firm. I think when um, when Celtic were champions, I remember they come to our place. We won two nil. Um, and anything can happen. It's an old firm game. We know that both teams will be 100% at it and 100% up for it. We go there as champions for the first time and we need to um, stamp our authority on the fixture as we have in the last few games and make sure that we're victorious because we know how much it means to our fans and how much it means to the whole team and whole 
group internally in this building. So, um, no, I don't think we can go there with a swagger at all. Um, I think that would be really disrespectful as we know they're a good team and I um, think if we go there with that attitude, then we'll let ourselves be beaten. The manager said a short time ago that, that the, the difference in the mentality going into these old firm games has changed since your first one together. Can you exp- explain what the mentality is like now and contrast it to what it was if there was a sense of fear, if you like, way back when you first arrived at the football club, please? Yeah, I think when I joined the football club, um, the message from every fan I met or um, the message from every person I met was please please beat Celtic and like it's obviously it's the biggest fixture in Scotland but I think it was about winning that one game whereas I think we've turned that around this season to winning the whole season and um, no matter what happens in the old firm you still have another 34 fixtures to play and you have to be successful in every other fixture as well and I think that's the mentality that I've seen change this season Um, whenever we've beat them in the past we've always seem to have a little slump after that game and probably been on too much of a high, whereas this season I feel like after we have beat them, we've managed to go on and win a number of games after it, which has really propelled us this season and obviously helped us to win the league. Hi, Connor. Sorry, I missed the start there. You obviously seem visibly upset with last night. Uh, can you just give us a, an understanding of what the mindset of the players is and whether you'll be able to put that to the back burner uh, come the game on Sunday? Yeah, of course we will. Um, as I said, the old firm speaks for itself and no one will need any motivation or um, we won't need to get up for it. Um, there's a lot of emotions around the training ground today, especially um, after seeing their statement and seeing what they've put out. Um, it just disgusts me really and um, yeah, but as I said, we'll recover today. We'll, I'm sure we'll have a meeting of some sort. Um, sometime this afternoon and we'll speak about the weekend and then tomorrow we'll be in training work on our game plan and we'll be ready to go on Sunday Connor, sorry I, I missed the starter as well but just is this um, this a perfect sort of a game after after the slabby game isn't it for you boys to bounce back and uh, obviously go into a sword farm game yeah definitely um, I think there's a lot of Work went into the game yesterday and unfortunately we didn't manage to progress but I think um, if you wanted one fixture that you don't need any motivation for or you don't need, you'll don't you never feel tired for, it's an old firm and I think it's probably the best fixture you could have after going out in Europe um, just because of the fact mentally that you don't need to prepare for it, you know what's coming, you know what to expect and you know where you need to be mentally and physically to get a performance and get a result out of the game.